doing some hand exercises? Sure. Yeah, we'll, we'll go with that. <laughs> so, I got a, a smart ass email the other day. He said, Hey, that was really nice of you to show us about welding, you know, down in a tight little joint with the TIG, you know, pull the stick out, out, you know, pull the tungsten out some more, or that fancy little micro torch you have. But what about us guys who don't have a TIG? Well, we got some MIG or a stick. So some of you may remember from an earlier video, gentleman was working with a really, really tight little angle. He needed to be able to get down in there to weld that joint. Here's a couple different ideas for you. First off, don't have the joint. Don't have that weld that you have to do. Do like I did here. Cut it almost all the way through, bend it back around, now you don't have to get that inside joint. Now all you have to do is make a piece to fit in here to finish off your angle that you wanted, and you can do all these outside joints. That's one way to get around it. But let's say the plan say, or the boss says, no, 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 you can't do it that way. You can't, you can't just bend it and add this on. No, 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 you gotta cut this at the proper angle and weld it on all four sides. Okay. First imagine that this is cut in two. And this is you know, a nice proper joint, imagine that. One thing you can do is cut a gusset. Something that will fit down in that joint. Just something to fill that joint in that way. So now all you have is this outside weld and this outside weld, and then the two insides, but they're farther up out of that joint. A little easier to get a MIG, MIG gun in there. So you can weld them in there. But that piece of metal would run the whole length. That, that gusset would run the whole length of the joint. Right. Remember, all of this comes out of the scrap bucket before we start shooting a, a video here. Um, so that, that's one way to get around it. You know, outside welds, you know, farther out of your joint, that's another easy way to do it. But let's say the boss still says, no, 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 no. Can't use a gusset. That's not in the plans. You still have to get down inside that joint. Can I use a stick? Here's a 330 seconds, uh, 6011. It'll reach right down in there, no problem. So you can just go in there and stick this portion of it and then MIG the rest of it. You know, MIG your, the rest of your joint if you want to. Of course, another possibility, if you have the time, oxyacetylene. Nice small tip. That'll reach down in there also. You know, that'll, that'll let you get that joint down in there. So let's just do a couple of these. Let me weld that gusset in with the MIG. And then, maybe I'll try a little trick with the MIG, see if I can actually get the MIG to do it. So, let me get my helmet and set this up. So I'm using the Everlast Power MTS 251 SI. That's their multi-purpose machine. And let me just go ahead and MIG this part in, and then we'll try a trick. pretty easy. You know, that fills in that gap, gives you a nice strong joint. You know, you just go ahead and do the rest of your outside welds. But what I want to try, don't know if this will work or not. Let's bump up the wire feed a little, and we'll bump up the regulator pressure just a little. And then we'll just try to reach down inside there with a little more stick out on the wire. A little more gas flow, help bridge that gap because I'm so far out of the, out of the joint because of the angle that I'm on. Now let's see how that works. So let me bump up the wire speed just a little. So what I did was I went from two, uh, 275 inches per minute up to 300 inches per minute. And I went from 50, uh, 15 CFH on the, on the pressure up to 20. And what I'm hoping is with this little gusset back here or a dam, if you just put a piece of metal on both sides of your joint where you're working down in a hole now, now you've got a dam set up. Now your inert gas is just going to flood that area, push all the oxygen out, and hopefully we'll get a decent weld out of it. Let's try it, see what we get. So you see down in there, that actually worked pretty good. 
Turn the gas up, turn the wire up, reach straight down inside there. Imagine if I had another piece of metal across here, you know, to help make the rest of that dam. Boy, that came out just real nice right in there. That worked great. So I hope that was helpful. Hope that points you in the right direction for what you were doing there. Um, don't forget to hit that subscribe button for me. And don't forget to come out to my website, sign up for my newsletter. I would appreciate it. Well, I'm going to get back to playing, I mean working, and I'll see you guys next week. Hey, Kevin. I can't think what to say. <laughs> <laughs>